Hello everyone, welcome back to a new equestrian trash video. This is by far, I think, my most disappointing equestrian trash video ever. This product I had so much hope for and really just put it up on a pedestal and was hoping that this would be a great bit alternative for people who still want to ride in a bit but don't want all the harshness of metal being in their horse's oral cavity. All of my equestrian trash videos end up being equestrian trash for a reason because it's equestrian trash okay for today's equestrian trash video we are talking about the soft touch foam bit yeah that's a thing just know that this is a thing that I paid a hundred and twenty two dollars for plus shipping so very disappointed <laughs> Massive thank you to Schleza Saddlery for gifting me the bridle that I tested it on. I will actually link this bridle down below because I love it. You know, I just have my ways, like I liked this bridle too much to not use it, so I'll find some sort of bitless method to hook up to this and it'll be great. Throughout testing with this, I did connect the soft touch foam bit to the uh, double bridle to test it out. And just to say the absolute least, I was disappointed. However, before I get into the trial test, I want to first establish why this product was a thing. If you don't want to switch to bitless and your horse has a very sensitive oral cavity, I think this is a great idea for your horse. But that's the key. This is an idea. This is nothing more than an idea. So there's plenty of people out there who do want and look for a softer method of riding than putting a piece of metal in their horse's mouth or even something like leather bits, which are also a thing. My issue with the foam bit is not that it's not soft. I think the idea behind the bit was great. However, my conclusion at the end of the day is if you're gonna go through all the stress of trying out a product like this, then you're better off just going bitless. And I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. This was by Walsh Products. It hooks up to the sides pretty nicely. The thing is, this is a really nice looking product. Like the design of it's pretty good, although there is like a fold at the bottom that I was really questioning. However, it didn't come apart in the two usages and trial test periods we did with it. This foam did not separate, so I think that it is actually um, adhered really well to each other. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet given how much I paid for this product, that the quality of the actual product is low. I think if you bought this and used this for a long period of time, it would probably hold up. And I also think this would be a very easy product to clean. The reins obviously connect on the sides, and um, this product, when I first got it, did look cheap, but again, after trial tests and everything, I do think this product will actually hold up. I think it's made quite well. And the bummer about this is I did really like the design. I think this is a really cool piece of equipment. Guys, at the end of the day, it looks like a gag. <laughs> so moving into the trial testing, when we hooked it up, I initially put it on Link, which you guys all know Link is completely bridleless and has been bridleless for a long time. So honestly, I kind of expected that no matter if I put this in his mouth or another bit, he would probably behave the same way. So it wasn't really a fair trial test. However, I still wanted to test it out and I still wanted to see if I could get him soft, if I could get him collected, if I could get him balanced in this bit. Um, and just ride how I normally ride, which keep in mind, I do ride with a lot of light contact. Okay, so this is trial test. Just, just put it in his mouth. He seems to be really chewing on it, both sides. It is fitted correctly. I made sure of that. I don't regularly use bits, so I had someone else fit it. To him, he seems to be like mildly confused. He's just been chewing on it for like the last 10 minutes. I've just been letting him kind of sit with it and get used to it. And it's interesting to say the least, but he's chewing on it. We did do a lot of circling. We did a lot of like balance tests, but honestly it was really quick. I only tested it out for about five minutes because Link would not stop chewing on it, opening his mouth, throwing his head. And that is why this bit sucks. I don't know. This bit 
I guarantee you is actually soft in the horse's mouth just because when I was analyzing the overall design they put a lot of thought into the actual material what was irritating is how big it is So as you guys can see, Link is just extremely hollowed out this entire time. He's not having a good day, shaking his head constantly. Massive, massive thank you to Devin for also doing the test ride on him. I wanted to get her opinion as well. But he didn't really seem to get like fully soft when I rode him in it. I don't know. Does he feel okay in it? Yeah, he's fine when I don't put pressure on. When you don't put pressure on? Yeah, maybe, but here's the thing. He, it's so unfair to like test it on him uh -huh, because he's, he's always been bitless. Yeah. Now my expectations were kind of slapped in the face because I thought that by putting this foam bit in my horse's mouth that it would kind of like conform to the horse's mouth, not be so big once it was in his mouth, but no, 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 no. This did not conform at all. It was literally a giant gag in his mouth. It was so big he couldn't even close his mouth. And we even tried it on a second horse, Sassy, which shout out to Devin. Devin is actually my exercise rider and I love you so much, you're the best. Uh, Devin tried it out on her horse, Sassy, for our second trial period because she rides Sassy in a bit. So we wanted to see how Sassy would behave first in her normal bit and secondly in the actual foam bit and she behaved so much worse we'll see how it goes her mouth is just open it looks uncomfortable like i don't like that her mouth is like wide open and you can see it in frame how did she respond to that oh okay she was chewing constantly opening her mouth constantly throwing her head constantly she just doesn't like it. She's like shaking her head to it. She's like, ah, no. I think it is more uncomfortable. I Like, look at how big it is. She is really not having a good day right now. Either one of the horses we didn't want to test for super long just because I found it to be a little bit cruel because they very clearly did not like the bit at all, which is why I know a lot of you are going to say, why did you test for so short a period of time? It's because the horses didn't like it. Not because the bit wasn't soft. It was because it was uncomfortable. Because could you imagine having this like giant piece of foam stuck in your mouth and you not being able to close it? That's essentially what this product is. Sure, you have a product that's soft, you have a product that is not, you know, terrible, maybe is softer than a normal bit, but it's uncomfortable. It's actually much more uncomfortable and irritating for a horse than a normal bit is. I honestly think a horse would rather deal with the discomfort of a normal metal bit over the discomfort of a gag, a foam gag inside their mouth to the point where they literally can't even close their mouth. And keep in mind, Sassy is a lot bigger than Link and even she could not close her mouth with this bit. So is this bit soft? Yes. But is it uncomfortable and irritating? Yes. <laughs> so with all those things put together, that's why this product is equestrian trash. And again, I'm really disappointed because I paid $122 plus shipping for this. So at the end of the day, this is probably my most disappointing equestrian trash video. Don't go buy this product. This product was such shit. It was such a waste of money. I could not believe that I spent $122 on something to be such a disappointment. But then again, that's why these are equestrian trash videos because all of these are such a disappointment. And just honestly, Walsh products, you're just like killing me inside. It's just like they just took a dagger to my heart. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it for today's equestrian trash video. I hope that you loved it. I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much again to Coldest Water for sponsoring me. That link is down below. Also, this is my newest design. This is the private property shirt that came out a couple weeks ago. We also have a new pride design that came out recently. If you want to pick up anything at all or check out the giveaways, whatever, head over to Shop Raleigh and link on Instagram. 
Instagram, and that link will be down below. Otherwise, I love you guys so stupidly much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.